Hi, Phil Poplinski here with Practical Half Keto. Um, this week's concept that I wanted to bring you, again, I try to bring you things that you can apply to your Half Keto, your Chin Na, your locking, um, or, or your, your art, your style, whatever it is you're doing. Some of these concepts will fit into it and will help increase your flexibility and your understanding of the art. So what I want to highlight to you today is another thing that I learned from the Dragon Society International, and that is combat applications for said techniques. Uh, in the Dragon Society, you have 50 core techniques that you're, you're working on, in, and they teach you a variety of, of targetings and applications and strike tools and things like that. But then they also want you to have what's called three combat applications for each of those 50 techniques. So I just all I did was apply the same thing to my practical half keto. And it's wonderful because applying a combat application to a root technique that you have allows you to get greater understanding of that technique. In this case, it's going to be locking, plus variations that you can input into this technique. And variations are very important because if you think you're going to pull off any of these locks on the street and have it look like you're doing it in class, it's not going to happen. It's going to be some bastardized version of that technique might be part of one with a little bit of four and a sprinkling of number five in it. I don't know. It'd be all kinds of things. So I'll, I'll illustrate what I'm talking about using our very first joint lock that we learned from the same side wrist events. Let's switch sides on this yes, one. Sir. Okay. So this is our same side number one. You can come in close if you want to see some of this stuff here. Of course, we've got to get low. I turn this up. I got live hand. I get Mr. Thumb. I stand up. I've got my breakaway. This hand rolls over and reinforces the lock. As I turn this, I see he's falling in this direction. I step back with his leg and pull straight to my core. That's the book, number one. Same side, number one. Even a distraction, boom here and back and down. That's our number one. Now, a combat application to this might be where I start like this, but then when I take this here, I take and crank this and shoot this straight across the body this way. So I'm using core rotation, sinking, same rudimentary lock, but now I've taken to cross his body, okay? Uh, another, another application of this, a super simple one, is get this lock here. Once I get his lock, I spot, oh, look where he's at. Pow! I'll just smack him right there on the side of the neck. What a great time, okay? Combinate, combat application number two. Number three, another fun one. Try this with your friends. Just don't tell them what you're doing. Let it be a surprise, because that way you get to see their true body reaction. Start like one, I create the lock, I start to pull them back, and as soon as I pull back, I feed this right back into their gut. Now, if they got a small frame or a skinny frame like me, when you do that rotation, that elbow comes to the solar plexus, and when you ram it, you, you can knock the wind right out of them, right there on the spot. So, there you saw my root base number one, along with what we call three combat applications. The other thing that these combat applications or variances are gonna give you is, your dough, your way, okay? I want all of my hep keto practitioners to be able to free flow and free think and utilize their strengths, which is what you're gonna have to do in a real self-defense situation of any kind. You're gonna have to be able to flow from something. What is it gonna be? I don't know. You're just gonna have to deal with it as it happens. So by doing these combat applications, you're getting to add your special spices to the soup we're making so to speak okay makes sense you'll have the root but then you'll have this is dax dax doe or clayton clayton doe john john doe mike mike doe stephanie stephanie doe you add your own flair to it so play with that a little bit you know uh take your technique your concepts do the root and then come up with three combat applications for that technique combination or whatever it is you're dealing with have fun with it phil poplinski practical hap keto train smart train hard